Today I am a very happy person in the beautiful town of Predsa. And why am I a happy person? Well, we've got an incredible, stunning property for you to view at an absolute bargain price. Just wait while you see this one. So today we're back in beautiful Prezza. Done a couple of videos on this place and uh, yeah, I think the property's pretty much sold straight away. What a stunning place this is. The absolute jewel of the Val di Poligna. Great location, basic facilities here, pharmacist, bar, <laughs> there's always a bar, two bars, um, bakers, everything everything you need and it's just a beautiful place a little bit grey today but who cares Domenico over there was all happy with himself with this new find this is a bargain property absolute bargain and uh, yeah what can I say about this place it's just it's just fantastic Close to many other many other towns, we have Rayano just around this corner. We have Pratola, which is here, where you can get the buses to Rome. In fact, the motorway to Rome is just running along here. I don't know if you can see it. Rocca Casale in the background. 15 minutes from uh, from uh, Sulmona. It's just an amazing place. This bar's closed on a Monday, so it's not got the usual. But people still sit outside. I find that quite amusing. <laughs> Um, but there's a bar here and there's one in the old town as well it's just a just a great place traditional place and this property that we're going to show you is uh, is a it's incredible and the views are unbelievable okay I'll put a couple of links in the description box below to other properties that we've uh, that we've had in Preta, just if you want to have a, another look at the town, um, butchers there as well. But this gives you an idea of what this little centre is like. These are the, for me, these are the heartbeat of not just Abruzzo but of Italy. Towns like this, they're just they're just incredible places to be inside. And as I said it's so close to many other many other towns it's just uh it's just an absolutely brilliant brilliant place to be and has the modern features they're just putting fiber optics all the way through the town so it's just incredible absolutely incredible are you ready to see this one i am majorly excited to show you <laughs> to show you this place let's do it so just before we do it <laughs> Domenico reminded me of something that is important to say that this property is a short walk up here so even though we're going to go around in the car because I've already done 5,000 steps today but it's literally walk up here and it's at the top of the top of the steps but we're going to drive up there and you'll see how easy it is to get there from uh, from where you can leave the car okay so this time let's do it okay so we've left the car just in uh, just in this part here okay. plenty of room to leave it two minutes or well, less than a minute from the little center but you can also walk to the center beautiful building this one this is actually a, a wine a cantina so I understand that it also opens for wine tasting and also like a little bar as well always good to have a little bar <laughs> how characteristic is this some work going off at the houses down there as well which is great a little nosy at their terrace. That was very nice. 
this one. I'm really excited about this one. I sound out of breath because I've just done a load of steps. <laughs> I wish it was a, a clear day, but how full of character is this? It's called Via Antica. So Antique Road. A few steps, but the house we're looking at is this one. That from the front looks quite small. Wait while we get inside. This is just an amazing, amazing place for the money. I just can't believe it. We do find the best properties. Well, Domenico found this one, so I suppose I have to give him some credit. I don't like to do that, but hey, look at the backdrop of the Mayala Mountains behind. And wait while you see the terrace. Keep watching this video, because there's also a huge surprise to this one. This is a, this is good to go, to be honest with you. It is ready to use. I absolutely love this location as well. So the property actually, <coughs> excuse me, finishes here. So it's this part and this. <laughs> You're getting excited, I am. Imagine what these little vigors they're called, little, little, uh, what little streets. Can't think of the word in English. Imagine what they're like in the, in the summertime when all the flowers are out on these bushes. This is just full of character. I absolutely love this town. But it's so close as well to Salmona, Rayano, Paratola. So close to the motorway to get to Rome. Your, the public transport doesn't come up into the old part of the town. You can use some of the school buses, but once you drop down out of the village, then there's buses that take you everywhere. I'm so excited to show you this. It's just such a bargain. This one will be snapped up quickly. I like this as well. This little, uh, falling backwards, this little balcony area. Pull a couple of chairs out there. Are you ready? Are you ready to look at this one? Let's do it. So it's quite a reasonable, simple layout, and I actually wouldn't change anything. And you'll see why as we go around, don't think anything needs changing. You'd be pleased to hear that, instead of me going on about what I would change and what I wouldn't. Floors are in good condition. The electrics, looking at the sockets, look reasonably reasonably new the boiler the guy said that the boiler works i'll show you the boiler later the the heater but uh he said obviously it's not been turned on for quite a while but it's actually in great condition i'm going to show you back there shortly let's just look at this room first definitely a lounge area i'll keep it as a lounge area the bathroom in the house is here, but I'll show you that again shortly. And then you have a nice dining room and kitchen. Six bottles of beer there. This video may take a while. This is a great size. Only a small window at the end. But when it's boiling hot, believe me, you don't want lots of windows. This has got a fly screen. Let me see if I can take that off because just look at the views from here. But don't worry, you'll see the views better shortly. But you've got to keep watching the video. I'll close this. I'll probably completely forget to close it. And I'm going to have to turn the video off so I can close it properly. So that closed that. So, I said there's not a huge amount of natural light, but there's enough that comes through there. Obviously the electrics are not on, so I can't turn lights on. But this is a, a great size. Kitchen's an old kitchen, but it's functional. Works. The oven, spotlessly clean. It has everything, everything you need here. These are new tiles. I said the electric sockets, all look in great condition. 
It's an absolute bargain. This is really high on the uh, on the stunning counter, but you'll see why soon. Okay. So kitchen, dining room, great size living room, little balcony out to the front, under store, under stair storage. And then we have a bathroom on this level as well. And it's a good sized bathroom. window in here full-size shower it's newly tiled good size window with the frosted glass obviously sink everything the windows are single glaze that I've seen so far I'll have a look as we go around considering the unbelievable price yeah the windows are single glazed here but they also have shutters on the outside as well so you don't have to be in a huge rush to change them okay one of the surprises is through here which is actually a bedroom but I'm going to show you that shortly I'll do anything to keep you on these videos stairs leading up obviously marble staircase as usual now this is quite full of furniture at the moment i would do this different because they've actually got two bedrooms in here you have to walk through one to get to the other so i would change this even though i said in the video there's nothing i would change but i would i'll, I'll show you why here you've got another window with unbelievable views that you may not be able to see because there's fly screens and things I would use this other room as maybe a wardrobe you could maybe even put an ensuite in there if you wanted to that way then it frees this this room up a little bit maybe put the bed on that wall move the radiator maybe to that side I said I wasn't gonna do that on this video but I can't help myself changing things around but there is a lot of furniture in here actually a good side size the wiring up here looks like the old wiring wiring so obviously everything works but it's not new like downstairs that might be something to do eventually so here they've done a small bedroom I'm saying small still a decent size but I would this for me would either be a wardrobe or I would put a bathroom in because the bathroom is down here down below here so you should be able to get the pipe works down there would make a great ensuite and worth adding it on adding one in should I say adding it on I'm losing my words little balcony So yeah, the bathroom is here. So all of this property is yours. So you could dig into the walls here to head down. I'm sure you could do that. Look at the, the little views from here as well. There's a view from, from every window. So that's the upstairs bedroom. What would you do? Would you add an ensuite? Would you have it as a wardrobe? What would you do? Let me know. This wardrobe is quite big. Okay. Love it. Let's go to the first surprise. Or we'll head, head towards it. So here is a good sized bedroom few steps up to the living room obviously it's, it's a it gets wider as you go further along so you could have the wardrobe at, at this side 
But here is the unbelievable part. Now, as people may know, I suffer a little bit from vertigo and it's quite, it's quite a drop at the back. So I may not go right to the edge. <laughs> but this terrace used to be an open terrace and could be again. They've added a roof and added these windows in. Obviously, we need to check the documents to see if it's been done correctly. Unfortunately, in Italy, that's what people do and it's just the way it is. But look at that. How stunning is that? How high on the stunning counter is that? <laughs> it's just amazing. Oh my word. What a view. And the mountains are even covered a little bit at the back there. Some of the highest mountains there. In fact, that is the highest mountain that's hidden the hidden the cloud. I don't know if you can see just above this ridge here. That's the town of Pacentro. And Sulmona is just, just over this hill. 15 minutes probably from Sulmona. Oh my word. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's fly screens on these windows as well. So they can be let. This is a fixed part in the middle. It's just the windows are a little bit dirty. You can't see properly. Oh, I could stay in here forever. Well, maybe not forever, but you know what I mean. So that's the first surprise. Unbelievable. What a property this is. What do you think? The price is unbelievable. just excites me so much places like this somebody is just going to get a steal of a property in an amazing location unbelievable price just everything is, is perfect just come in paint it start using it love it and there will be these walls as well with how thick these walls are there's going to be stone underneath these walls as well Okay, you've waited long enough. Are you ready for the next surprise? Let's go and have a, have a look. So back outside the property. Need some little bits of work, maybe underneath the balcony, just to redo some of the, the plaster work. You could reveal stone on this one as well. You could have it like the build, some of the buildings around. There's Domenico. He always has to get on, on the video. He's happy with himself today. He likes his little dancers. He's happy with himself because he's found this brilliant place. Okay, here's, here's the, uh, the surprise. What would you do down here? Because, before we start, that's the boiler. Which, as I say, it doesn't look new, but it certainly doesn't look old, old. But it's not just this. This is only part of it. So you have a bit of a kitchen area in here. It is quite dark, unfortunately. All vaulted ceilings. There's so much you could do down here. So much storage. And there's loads more around here. Some of these, this old, old furniture. Don't know if any of the furniture is coming with it, we'll have to find out. So it's a little bit dark in here. Once I get through this part, he says, I suddenly go crashing through the floor. <laughs> Look at these old floors. Just look at this. The old vaulted ceilings. Oh my word. Oh 
obviously we'd have to get them to clear their their rubbish out there's a door at the end with the same view what would you do down here it's just i love these places i'm getting excited again amazing absolutely amazing this is a it's not a huge room but there's that kitchen area at the back i can't see anything on the screen i'm just speaking to myself in the dark i don't know if you can make it out but there are some some doorways on this wall that you could actually open up to that kitchen area at the front and then all of this space come on folks get your creative thinking caps on what would you do down here i'm blown away i'm speechless i absolutely love it are we ready for the final thoughts let's do it so my final thoughts on this incredible place and it's exactly that it's a it's a stunning little property and it's not even little i don't know why i'm saying little a couple of bedrooms i think i'd definitely change that upstairs so it's not having a little bedroom walking through one bedroom to get to another is not ideal i don't think it needs to be any bigger maybe you could develop downstairs maybe one of those where the window that leads to the the back with the view maybe that could be a an extra bedroom but two bedrooms great great condition unbelievable price beautiful location Predsa is just a, a little jewel and you're on the way to Rome not far off the motorway to get to Rome buses from the bottom of the town connecting you up to all the bigger towns that you're really close to such as Sulmona, Raiano, Pratola they're all here, you're right in the heart of the Val di Perigna. Oh God, I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's have another quick look upstairs. Let me know in the comments what you would do up here. Would you add an ensuite by using this room? Or would this just be a wardrobe? What would you do? And this wall actually is a dividing wall. So you could just have a huge bedroom. Oh, there's so many things you can do. Okay, guys, you know what I'm gonna say? Well, I'm saving it, I need another minute. First of all, thank you for your support. 35,000 subscribers since uh, February, no, the end of January, which is incredible. Thank you so much for all the support. And remember to join us every Tuesday on our live streams, 7 p.m. Italian time, where we talk about the buying process. We speak to others that have done it and we have a bit of fun as well. But whatever you do, <laughs> whatever you do, just do not miss out on this incredible place.